Hello and welcome to the complete tutorial on using the USB Network Gate Software Development Kit. This six-part video series will teach you how to use this Software Development Kit, or SDK for short, to build your application with USB pass-through capability. This will allow you to create applications that can communicate remotely with a wide variety of USB devices. Throughout these lessons, we'll go over all the basics of USB Network Gate and build a simple WPF application to demonstrate all of the important features. First of all, let's talk about what this software development kit actually does. USB Network Gate is a software package that lets you access remote USB devices over a local network or the internet. It works with a wide variety of device types, including scanners, security dongles, webcams, flash drives, and others, and makes it possible to establish remote connections no matter the physical distance. Shared over the network, USB devices will appear on remote computers as if they were connected directly. USB Network Gate works by redirecting data streams from the real USB port to which the device is physically connected to a virtual USB port created on a remote computer. It does this by packaging the USB device data and forwarding it to the remote machine over the TCP IP protocol. The data is received and extracted by a virtual USB port running on a remote application you must create, which will also be using an instance of USB Network Gate. The USB Network Gate framework allows the physical USB device to communicate with the virtual USB port, and the device will be treated by the remote system as a locally connected device. We'll expand on this architecture in more detail later in this lesson. While there are many advantages that come with remote device access, it's worth mentioning that the network connection speed is always slower than the speed of a direct connection. There are a wide variety of industries that can benefit from these types of applications. Communicating remotely with a USB device can be helpful in Internet of Things systems, automotive diagnostics, cloud service, and industrial plant management, just to name a few cases. Additionally, remote USB access eliminates the need for on-site visits for diagnostics or firmware updates, particularly in industrial or medical equipment. With the USB Network Gate SDK package, it's possible to create a software solution that will let you work with any specific device remotely. The framework will let you customize the options for authentication, encryption, and data compression, to let you keep communications with remote equipment as secure and efficient as needed. This is a cross-platform package that supports Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Raspberry, and partially supports Android. The detailed SDK documentation, which is available in the video description below, contains more information about the specific operating system versions supported by this framework. Before we begin developing the sample applications in the coming videos, it will be helpful to get started with a few definitions. For our purposes, we will refer to the server as the machine, whether it be a PC, microcomputer, or smartphone, that is physically connected to the USB device. The client is the machine that will communicate with the USB device over the TCP IP protocol. A GUI, or GUI, is the graphical user interface of an application. A service is a component that allows USB Network Gate to start when the machine is booted and run as a process in the background. Windows Services is a core component of the Microsoft Windows OS and enables the creation and management of long-running processes. Unlike regular software that is launched by the end user and only runs when the user is logged on, Windows Services can start without user intervention and may continue to run long after the user has logged off. The services run in the background and will usually kick in when the machine is booted. Lastly, drivers are software components that are essential for USB network gate operation. More detail will be provided in the following lessons. For both the client and server applications, the demo application we'll build is a GUI using Windows Presentation Foundation, or WPF. These GUI applications will import DLL files from the SDK and use these to call functions which will communicate with the USB Network Gate Windows service, which will need to be running on both the server and client machines. 
This service in turn communicates with the custom device drivers that are needed to redirect data to and from the physical and virtual USB ports on the client and server respectively. You will need the following software tools to complete this course. Visual Studio 2019 or higher, .NET 5.0 or higher, and the USB Network Gate SDK package. All three of these resources are linked in the video's description, and the USB Network Gate SDK package provides a seven-day free trial, so you do not need to purchase it to complete this tutorial. By the end of these videos, you will have learned how to build client and server applications that look like these. The simulated server is on the left side, and the client application is on the right. The server application provides a list of USB devices that are physically plugged into it, and the client application, even though it's running on the same computer in this demonstration, is using USB network gate to retrieve this device list over the TCP IP protocol. Here I've got a flash drive plugged in, and I'll toggle the sharing mode to enable sharing the device. Then, on the client application, here on the right, I can enter the IP address of the server, which will just be the universal local host address, 127.0.0.1, since they're running on the same computer, and directly connect to the device, causing it to show up listed here on the right as well. Pretty cool, right? In the next lesson, we will install the SDK and begin building the server-side application. All of the following lessons will be much more practical, and we'll get the opportunity to do hands-on work with the demo application code. Best of luck with the upcoming lessons.